completely made trophies and belt buckles to a brilliant scientist or two. Our Jen Tobias Drosky is out at Black Laboratory Brewing's new tap room. And is it true that it's run by two hey, scientists stay, stay and a dog? A Yes, yes, that is correct. We'll tell you more about that backstory. By the way, shout out to my brother because he always makes me laugh and I'm sad that I missed Sloan, but we're back out here. Okay, we're just a few blocks away from the AT&T Center and the Alamo Dome at Black Laboratory Brewing and Kitchen. I have Jeff joining me now, one of the co-owners, to talk all about beer and a new partnership, right? Yeah, so we've uh, recently expanded. Um, we have a full kitchen now and uh, it includes pizza, wings, sandwiches, um, some salads and lighter dishes and appetizers. We'll be expanding into a even bigger menu um, in the next month or so with some pasta dishes and kind of experimenting Yum. with some things. And it's uh, from the wood fire oven, so. Yes. It looks amazing and we're gonna show you that in the second half of the show, but right now, it's all about the beer. Fiona, you mentioned the scientist. Well, you and Tim, the co-owner, chemist, correct? Yes, correct. Um, so what both. do we have here? <laughs> so, um, going on the list here, uh, we have our, our flagship flagship IPA. Um, this is a little hazy. It's a little bit of a West Coast, um, but it is a people pleaser. Anybody that says they don't like IPAs changes their mind when they when they try this one. And Mox is the mascot, correct? Is, you have it yes. on your shirt. It's my, uh, my business partner's mascot and dog. Sweet. Okay. And the next one. Next up is a Dignity Common, so named after the neighborhood that we're in. Um, it is a steam beer, a very older, traditional American beer. Uh, we have next up our Vanilla Joe, which is a coffee vanilla stout. And we use our in-house roasted coffee, um, Costa Rican coffee, for that. Which people can purchase here as well, by the way. Yes. I'm super excited about that, because I love coffee. Mm. And then our next up is a Space Force series. So right now it is Talus Space Force. That is the hop that we're using in it. Every batch that I make, I use a different hop. And it just creates a more different flavor profile um, each time. Got it. I, over here, we had mentioned the rodeo tea yes. and our teas. Now, what is in the rodeo tea? So we know Texas and we know San Antonio love their sweet tea. So made a hard sweet tea. Um, comes in at about 5%. Mm. So it's not going to mess you up that much. That's but, really uh, delicious. <laughs> it is a, a perfect um, Compliment to the rodeo too, yes. Yeah. And then this one is fun, the Monster Blood for yes. Halloween. Tell me what's in here. So that's one of our specialties that we release every year. Um, it is a green chamoy that has pickle in it and sour apple belts. So it is a sour beer, um, but it is obviously green and uh, it has a little bit of a kick to it. So I love it's, how everything it's a fun one. is in the actual, like you mix it, it's all brewed together. You yeah. mentioned all these ingredients um, and this one's fun too, the apple. I'm going to try this one <laughs> while you do that. Mm -hmm. So the, the apple bottom bindi is our uh, Christmas beer. Mm -hmm. It is, you know, sitting in front of the fireplace. It is an apple cider blonde ale and uh, Extremely well balanced on the sweet, mm -hmm. cinnamon, and beer side. Love the beakers, by the way. <laughs> That's super cute. The last one is the Harvest Stout. So that is our pumpkin stout. Um, it's got a little bit of pumpkin spice in it, a lot of pumpkin in it, and um, it's one of the stronger ones, um, but definitely a good winter beer. Got it. Okay, and you also have four light options. We can't go get through all of them right now. We're a little bit out of time here, but uh, there are other options as well. You said you have seltzers, right? And wine. Yes. So we also have, in addition to ciders. all these light <laughs> options, uh -huh. um, we've got wine, ciders, um, non-alcoholic beverages, <laughs> just to make sure that, you know, people are coming here for pizza. They're yes. not only coming here for beer anymore, yes. which is a good thing. Got so. it. Okay. So many things. And we love the backstory as well. You guys come in together. They used to brew out of their garage, by the way, at home, right? Is that yeah. right? And so it's evolved here. So I hope you guys can come again, just a few blocks away from the AT&T Center and the Alamo Dome. Fiona, Mike, I have to say this monster blood, Ooh. surprisingly very delicious. I wasn't, know, I didn't know what to expect. It's sour, but awesome. So cheers. Interesting with that, the one that, that caught my ear was uh, the one that you sip in front of the fireplace. Yes, on a day like this. This is going to be perfect oh, okay. for it. Yeah. That was the apple butter. Yes. Yeah. Mm hmm Right there. Just for Ooh. you, Mike. Okay. Mm hmm is that, is that worth it? Oh, yeah. I need my fire. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thank you so very good. much, Jen. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.